morning. Good morning, good morning, preparatory peeps. Welcome to Thursday. Let us remember we are in the holy presence of God. Today we gratefully and prayerfully remember these members of our prep community, Frank and Alice Brown, Jerry and Linda Kremer, Michelle and Guy Carlson, David Serotini, John and Luce Bell. Let us pray. Lord our God, your son Jesus Christ came from you and bore witness to the things he had heard and seen. He could not but bear witness to you. Give us the spirit of your son, we pray you, to speak your word and to live it, that we may show Christ, your living word, to those who have not seen him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, yesterday sure was a lovely day. Oh, gosh, and perfect. Today's promising to be pretty nice, too. You know, the sun's even trying to break out right now. So. Mm -hmm. God, it smelled like rain this morning. Walking to church, there was a little bit of rain on the ground. And it had that pretty, pretty, pretty smell that you get in spring that's mm -hmm. like fresh rain. Yes. Um, so today we wanted to talk a little bit about this week's theme is work and productivity, especially in the spirit of the rule of St. Benedict. And today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite demons. Ooh. Um, so once upon a time, in, uh, in oh, the third century, going into the fourth century, there was a monk by the name of John Cashin, and he wrote a lot about, so he, he wrote originally about what he called the eight thoughts. Those evolved into the seven deadly sins. Uh, St. Gregory the Great changed them to the seven deadly sins, but he's influenced a lot of writers and thinkers about prayer. Um, but one of the thoughts that actually didn't make it into the seven deadly sins, I think is uh, something to think about these days. And it's called acedia. Um, so it's not really a demon, it's just a thought, but it's called acedia. And the idea of acedia is a little complicated. So John Cashin says that um, when acedia bites you or gets you, you are either tempted to get up and roam around wasting time looking for something to eat because you're bored, or you're tempted to get up and roam around and look for somebody to talk to, to distract you, maybe gossip with, maybe talk bad about a few people. But what's at the heart of acedia? What's the deal with acedia? And I think one way I would put it is it's doing something good in order to get out of doing something good. So for example, it's like I have a paper due, so it's time to clean my room. Um, or it's time to go to mass, but instead I'm going to call my mother. Um, so it's, it's distracting ourselves with something legitimate, something absolutely important, um, but so as to get out of something else that is what you're actually supposed to be doing at the time. And that is the beautiful demon of acedia. And I just thought it would be fun to talk about that. So I don't know if there's anything, any distractions that are really impacting you, if you have any, that you can certainly share them. Uh, I know Kathleen Norris, noted author and uh, oblate of St. Benedict uh, and friend of St. John's, wrote a book called Acedia and Me, which is <laughs> actually, uh, it's very good. Um, but it's also about that noonday demon that, you know. The that, noonday uh, demon, that's right. Yeah, whether you, you know, there's always something, you know, whether it's, oh, I want to learn something, so I'm going to watch a YouTube video on how to, you know, fix the toilet or how to do whatever, where you're going to learn something else but I really need to be working on my homework for school, whatever it is. So it really is, uh, how do you spell the word? A-C-E-D-I-A, -E correct? That's right. Yeah. Um, is it possible to write it in the chat? I believe it is. A-C-E-D-I-A. -E um, so, and I was thinking, we talked a little bit about productivity, and, um, and, and I mentioned, you know, when you're creative, when you're a painter or a writer or a musician, um, it's important to have a certain amount of leisure time. And I thought about, you know, and within the subject of acedia, um, a couple of my favorite quotes about writing. And so, of course, right now I'm thinking about finals are coming up, where students are preparing, studying, writing papers, whatnot. Teachers are preparing, grading, writing questions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it takes a little bit of discipline at this time, and acedia is especially tempting. Um, Stephen King has a couple of quotes that are my very favorite quotes about writing. And the first one is, 
If you're a writer, yes, it's a creative job, but you've got to treat it like a job. Clock in, clock out, uh, treat it like you're going to the office, get dressed, go sit at your desk. And I think that's really good advice. The other thing is, um, if you are only satisfied when you have a perfect sentence, at the end of the day, all you'll have is a perfect sentence. And so, of course, the advice there is just bang it out, proofread it later, um, fix it later, stuff like that. Anyway, those are just little gifts. Um, let's see. I should be cooking for my boys something wonderful and delicious and complicated since we're all home instead of doing work or exercising. Yes, exactly. Like last night, I, I planned I'm going to exercise today, blah, 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 blah. But instead, I get an impulse to, I don't know, research something completely new. I'm going to learn how to do Tibetan throat singing. That actually happened. Of that actually did. happened. Okay, well, shall we meditate, kids? Let's meditate. Let's meditate. What do you do with a CDA? I never did say what the result is. And it's the same thing that we do in meditation. It's a thought. Let it go. Let it go down the river. All right, inside. Gentle God, you renew your love and mercies every day. Help us when we get off track, not to waste any more time by feeling bad about ourselves or accusing ourselves, but help us to run to you with audacious confidence and get back up and get back on the road. And we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, Thursday, and the one more week, we've got a couple more weeks left of school. Absolutely, the end is coming. How exciting. <laughs> the end is coming. Don't sound too ominous. No, no, no. So I, speaking of a CDA, I saw something online uh, yesterday when I was in the throes of a CDA, but it was, uh, it said, I finally spent 15 minutes doing that thing that I've been putting on for three weeks. So, uh, you know, how do we, you know, what are, what is, what's one thing today I'm going to pick? You know what, I'm going to tackle that and get it done and not, uh, not go for a walk or go put some prep theater or whatever it is. Isn't that exactly how it is? Yep. It, it, it always ends up being a lot easier than we think. Um, especially when, you know, we're, we're smart, creative, productive people. Uh, we need to have more confidence in ourselves. Well, blessings on you all. May you be blessed with productivity and happiness as we close out our week. And uh, we'll see you around the shop. See you in the morning.